getting the bag is destroyed the black community. And I'm going to say it didn't just start with this generation. It started with ours. I feel like our generation was the beginning of the end of unity, like real unity within the black community. Hmm. Because we made it so popular to be a baller. Okay. We like we had like listen to like some I of our art. We had the ditties, we had the hoes, we had the people that started here. They was moguls, Master P. We seen all these niggas go from nothing to something, build these big conglomerate labels and artists, and they living good. They drink like at one point, nigga, you getting a bottle of Hennessy was good enough. You and your man drinking some Hennessy, nigga, you good. Now, nah, you gotta get the big ass bottle of the, you know, the Cristal. Now, nigga, that that ain't gonna work no more. You need Cristal, nigga. Oh no, your little, your little, you know, Mavado watch used to be cool. Nah, nigga, you need the Roly now. You need the Roly with the big iced out band. You gotta have that. Oh hey, man, that is it, crazy. the Mustang was cool. Be, you had a little Mustang, little rich. Chevy. That was cool. Little Chevy on twenty twos was cool. Nah, now you need the six hundred Benz. You need the Lamborghini. Like we started it. The men, the black men, started it to the point to where now the young girl seen it saying, "Well, shit, I want a baller." Shot caller, 20 inch blades. Please like, stop saying I hate I'm, that song. I'm saying, you might hate it, but I'm saying all the music from that era, we created that lifestyle. Shout out to my brother. Now, as the, as the women getting older, they doing their thing. They want that type of nigga. We promoted this yeah. to them their whole childhood. Now, the girl's like, I don't want no broke nigga. In the midst of all of it, and then women start getting their own bag. Now it's like, nigga, I can get my own bag. I, don't I see even what need you mean. You. And now it's they, like, and now they became the niggas. They became the niggas. Yeah. Now it's all broken. Where's the Where's the okay for the regular dudes out here? Where's the okay for the regular women out here? All oh, that make them feel like they're not good enough. So now you see the regular women contouring their face. They getting BBLs. They doing this. You see the broke niggas out here trying to rob niggas. He's like, he the job ain't going to do it no more. It's not cool enough. It's not, it's not man enough. I need to go. Nah, bro. Getting a job, taking care of your family is good enough. It's man enough. Shorty, you don't have to go alterate your body. and you, Like, no, nah, you good enough. And I feel yeah. like our generation started it, bro. Like, getting to the bag is more important than anything. It probably it definitely is, and uh, I see where you're going with that, but it's still like um, like when you with the get into the bag movement and how it affected everything, and I do like the way you put it with it started with us as far as like you know the Jay Z's and all of that, and you know the money, cars, clothes, all that shit, all that type mm-hmm. of stuff, and then everybody like aspiring to try to be that, and then I guess that's when the whatever means or by any means and <clears throat> things get escalated. I remember when it was, uh, I just didn't want to have a braided belt in school because that was broke. Mm-hmm. If you had the braided belts where it didn't have no loops because the fucking thing would oh, go through any other about. braids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you still wearing one of them in high school, oh man, you was the poor kid. I remember when you couldn't have pro wings. Oh, that's the poor kid because you ain't got a Nike swoosh on your shoe. You had to have a minimum of Air Force Yeah, one. you had to have minimum some Air Force, Force ones. ones. Like it was minimum. very basic to meet the the trends. Yep. And then it was a point. Ones like fifty dollars back in that. They like hey. 50, fifty spot got you some ones. And my mama still wasn't buying them, but it was, <laughs> that was still too much. But it was a uh, two for eighty nine ninety nine. Me and my little brother. You know about mm-hmm. it at Foot Locker if you was broke. Absolutely. Um, that's then why the I got Converse. That used to be like two for sixty. Hey, Converse too. I won the Converse kid. Was, that's the Dennis Rodman's. I did rock the Dennis Rodman's once, and I rocked the Gary Payton's. I remember getting them for the two for eighty nine. It was nice. And I know. Oh, okay. But yeah. mine's, but mine's were navy blue and white, mm-hmm. and you can't wear navy blue shoes that strap down and string on the side. That's that's a very significant shoe. You can't be wearing that every day. As you'll just play it's shoes as a kid. Shoe. Yeah, it's not <laughs> I was wilding back then. But anyway, like I come from that. So it's like it. It used to be a point where just I would used to man. If I could just get some white ones, if I could just get a pair of mid black F ones ones to go to school with, mm-hmm. oh, I'd be the kid. Jordans was so out of my league. I could never, never fathom. But just a pair of ones. And now you need the Hermes belt. You ain't got yep. the Fendi. You so you ain't got no Fs yep. on your belt. What you is you talking about? Designer clothes. You to, ain't got no. Feel fresh, so you ain't got no Louis in your closet. Nah. Nigga, no we, Balenciaga bro, shoes. We come what? from. We come from jeans and a white tee. We come from jeans, white tee, some man. fresh Air Force Ones. Nigga, you fresh. You good to go. Right. Don't have a little necklace on. Bro. Now you good money. Now, bro. Like you say, you gotta have a Fendi belt. You gotta have a Fendi yeah, shoes dude. with the Fendi hoodie. With the, like you gotta. You gotta damn near be designer. Like like a couple years ago. My chick had bought her daughter a book bag. 
bro, the book bag was like she wanted the book bag that was like actually no, it it was this this wasn't it. no, it was it was like almost three hundred dollars for a fucking book bag, mm. bro. We come from the jam, if you had the jam sport, sport, you was good money. You had a jam sport, nigga. That's like high. You, and you I there, never, nigga, and, and I, I never, had, never a had a jam sport. Me neither. You know how excited I was to finally have a triple fat goose coat to go to school with in the winter. I had one of those. I had a couple of those. And that, started. and we got that from those. Burlington. Mm-hmm. I had to get the green one because my brother had a red one, and I didn't want the same color as him. Bro, you, if you had a, if you had a hundred dollar pullover, you was good for the whole winter time, and you was like, you was smooth to go, right? Come on, don't have two or three of them. Oh, you that nigga? You know what I'm saying? But it's like now, now a hundred dollar yeah. coat to these kids is like I can't wear that, and that and could that's, be. That's, it's all a part of us, bro. I, I think never we thought about attributing it to that and that aspect, but that do make sense. I want to push back on it more, and I want to have a reason or at least a fake argument why it's not. But I, I agree with that only because it was a little bit of that, of like you know the money ain't the thing and all of that, and watching them do that, and then that mm-hmm. made people want to aspire it's to all do about the Benjamin be baby. like that. And now maybe that, I mean, you know, incorporated with a bunch of other stuff, I'm sure, but access and drugs and blah, blah, blah. But now to get the bins or to get the design that the rappers got or the, to drink the bottles or to get the bottles at the club, all of that, I got to get this amount of money to get this amount of money. I got to be this type of dude because I don't rap like Jay-Z, because I don't shoot like Steph, because I don't throw or catch like uh, fucking Odell or Michael whatever. Vick or Odell. Right, exactly. Like, um, I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to sell like Pee Wee. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? With this, we, we also <laughs> the generation that's the DVD era, right? So we was the first generation that where you could see the big Meech. You yeah. can see... I the way that, that you can see the way Meech and was going to the club with hella foreigns, hella money. Mm-hmm. The nigga had a tiger in the club. Like nigga, even when I was a young nigga, I was like, "Yo, I don't know what them niggas doing," but like, yeah. damn, nigga, we we need to be on like that. Like, we I don't even young. want. I don't even want a tiger in the club. I don't even want the be newest bins. But to be able to but do if I could it, just get is, me, it's enticing, nigga. If I could get me a two thousand Taurus right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be the man on my block in high school but with like, a 2,000 Taurus. But, but now, they gonna, now, no, nigga, they don't care. Like, now, nigga, you can have oh, a 2020 no. Prius and nobody yeah. cares. It's you like, can have no, a 2023 Honda Accord and people and will look at cares. you like, oh, so you must have a good job. Yep. <laughs> you can't be selling work out here with us pulling up in a 2023 Accord. It's crazy. Better go get you a, 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 like, a charger. I, I be seeing kids that be like 15, they be fully tatted up the whole nine. Like, I'm telling you, it's, it's, a, it's a different thing because I feel like our, I be telling this all the time on podcast, I feel like our generation is felling kids, bro. I feel like we 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 felt, eat not giving, we was enticed by all that shit too as kids. We was definitely enticed by it. And we didn't do anything to like change that narrative. When Jeezy them came out, bro, that was the next level of our generation mm-hmm. because now it's the trap or die shit. Now it's like, nigga, if you're not a hustler, if you ain't out here doing it like this, nigga, you ain't shit. You had yeah. the Jeezy, you had Gucci, you had Ross. Nigga, you got to be a boss, nigga. You can't be no like, worker, nigga. You got to be a boss, nigga. If you're not a boss, you ain't shit in this world, nigga. I feel Only- like everybody tried to sell a drug. when they. If you like that music, Hell yeah. you sold a drug. I definitely... It, it you weed, sold the drug. Now I, was, I, I you, you was right. You done that didn't mean that you was somebody significant in mm-hmm. it. That didn't mean that you was even on the streets doing or nothing. But you felt like this is easy enough. I could try this. I could do this. And then you gave it a shot, like because it was that infectious. That error. And it's so crazy that the the drilling and stuff is happening now. Because I ain't gonna lie, I listened to that King Von album and I was like, if I had an op. <laughs> imagine, imagine being if I young had a op. with an op, and you bumping Ooh, that I'm album. Oh, shooting him to this album. <laughs> like mu- music, music is the soundtrack to your experiences. That's how, like, you can play, you can play a certain song from like Dipset, for example. Mm-hmm. Where I remember exactly what we was doing at that point of our life because that was like the soundtrack of our life. We was doing certain shit that this was the soundtrack. We remember these songs. These kids now getting this shit. The soundtrack today, life is drill music. Yeah, nigga, we it drilling is. shit. We gotta get, some, we gotta lay some shit down. Like this is the soundtrack, and I feel like we started this failure. But like even with the girls, even with the girl rappers, it's, it's all about my, it's coming the nigga back got around it, to them it's, now. it's coming back around to them too because they also was in that same era. They influenced by they, they are failures too. Nah, I feel like they influence come from the 
the coin industry, the Instagram baddies, the OnlyFans. That's it's so we was already kind of compared to, to the to, generation no, before. Not to, was, not to cut you off because I don't want to forget this this thought because you just said that right. To your point, right? I agree. It looks like they influenced by the corn industry, the strip clubs, and everything else. But why did those industries become big? Because you had the BMFs, you had the big meets, you had the Jesus going to the club, spending a hundred thousand, throwing money. Them chicks started getting Strippers money. Coming home with fifty thousand exactly. on a popular weekend, exactly. and you working at a. Uh, you bad as hell, center. bad as hell working at McDonald's, working at a warehouse, working at whatever for mm-hmm. thirty, thirty five thousand, and you got kids, and these chicks and your went baby to Atlanta, daddy ain't doing nothing. Came back over a weekend with seventy five thousand. You like what the fuck you do? Oh, and girl, you I look, and you looked at and, and you looked at her Instagram and no, I'm better than her. Yep. What? So yeah, now I'm influencing all of this. You looked at OnlyFans and was like, she yep. not even famous and she making and this she making much money. That? I can do that. It's the, it's the same it's the same thing a part of the culture okay. like, and then trans transcends into the music because you know it's a culture just going to mimic yep. culture in whatever facet so but it all comes from hip hop and black people don't forget that but um so with that being said you got the only fan stuff in the algorithms now you got uh all these sexually driven uh women artists popping mm-hmm. and it's mostly this type of stuff yep. that gets promoted and displayed the now the same way or, the gangster you know? rap and stuff get displayed to exactly. us because they're not going to promote the Rhapsodies or even the Lola Brooks because Lola Brooks could spit. Yep. She can rap, rap, rap. I've heard but, some stuff from her outside of the stuff yeah. I did, didn't like. She actually be yeah. trying to create. So, Shade Shay Noir. Shade Noir, dope as shit. Ken the Man. Ken, you never gonna hear these names, you know what I'm saying? It's not it's not what you're gonna see push. And it's the same thing with some of the hip hop artists. There's some hip hop artists out here that's doing like I really like Simba. I think Simba really doing some dope shit. But mm-hmm. you're not gonna see and that La Russell. push. Look, it's it's a lot of people doing some good stuff out here, but you gotta search for it. You gotta always dig and move this crate and look under here. But Digging everything the that's D I T C shout out for y'all. Shout out to Big L. You know, R. P. Big L. But you know what I'm saying? It's like we we shouldn't have to be digging nah, for this stuff. Right. We should be able right. to get it because we grew up in a generation where yeah, I bumped Scarface, I bumped N W A, I bumped um, D M X, I bumped Hove, I bumped Pac, mm-hmm. I bumped Biggie, but I also bumped Common Sense. I also bumped Quale of Tali. Mm-hmm. You actually heard these things on the radio. You heard Lauryn Hill. You mm-hmm. heard it was enough things to balance it. There's that, no and that's balance. all I'm saying. Get, just give, just the give the balance, some balance because I don't want to diminish. These are all still black people Absolutely. making money. I love to see Sexy Red getting money. You a young black never, woman? I, I don't. Shout out to you Sukiana. Do I would yep. ne- get your make money. your money. Make get your, your money millions for sure. For sure. Help the help your family. Help your friends out the hood. Do all of that. Yeah, but that stuff shouldn't outweigh or diminish or make the positive stuff less than. That's all yeah. I'm saying because that is still great too. Killer Mike put out one of the best rap albums of this year. It's a great album. I, I'm great fucking album. Incredible album. And nobody's talking about it. And. That's the shit that's like, we need balance. So, come on now. You can't put out a project like that and we not hear it. Killer I mean, Mike should have easily been the first number one. That doesn't mean that Lil Uzi couldn't have been number one. Shout out to Lil after. Uzi. Shout out that to Lil don't Uzi. mean that. It just means that Killer Mike should have also been number one. You just got to make sure that... This, this, I, just, I just want more things in the culture to be recognized versus just all the lower... This is the whole thing I'm saying about the BET Awards. I don't the have no problem tip, with, yeah. you know what I'm saying, the ratchet shit. I get into my own ratchet bag. Mm-hmm. I just needed to be a little bit more balanced. So, it's I don't want the kids just always seeing that. Like, yeah. Because we old. We, we can decipher shit. We older. But I just want kids to have a little more... Because when we was kids, we did yeah. have choices. And it seemed, it seemed like we, when we was growing up as... Even though the game always been the game as far as the music industry, mm-hmm. we still had a choice. Like, I was able to listen to an Eminem and then listen to a Nelly yep. and then listen to a Ludacris and then listen to a 50 Cent. And like, it was to so Dead many. Prez and then listen to, you know, like Shout it was, out it to was Dead a Prez. lot of listen stuff to that a we Dead could Prez. Bump. Yeah, yep. 100%. Jay Z did the remix with Dead Prez. Like, it was mm-hmm. that type of stuff. So, it's just, just, we can do, we can do everything. Let's not uh let's not put ourselves in a box. We could do everything and we can appreciate each other for doing more than what we believe that we capable of. What's up man? If y'all enjoyed that video, we got to do it again. I bumped that and it threw me off. It bothered me. It bothered me. This is the type of shit. This is why I don't do ad-libs and raps.